Uh, probably, I'm probably gonna end up regretting that very soon. We are entering Dunkelheit der Untoten, which is pretty much like a remake of Nox der Untoten, which is honestly interesting. I have played this a single time, and I have some things to say about this map once I am done playing it. But overall, like, this looks really good. It looks very promising. But then you actually get into the map. Alright. So here we are in Dunkelheit der Untoten, April 30th, 1945. Unknown location somewhere in Germany. So as you can probably tell, it is a uh, remake slash reimagining of Noct der Untoten. But there's a twist. You see how there's this one room? You go down the stairs. You go into this area. And then there is some debris here. There's an issue though. These two main rooms are the only rooms in the map. This room leads to the prob like a like a closet and it has the mystery box. Like this you like, it, like overall the map in detail looks really good. It looks really good. And what's also cool is that it also brings back some of the World at War guns like the flamethrower and it, se it seems like the flamethrower was buffed cuz it seemed really good. But I still died in round 8 because of how close quarters this map is, so you would have probably have to be a master of training. Like, I could see you getting to a decent round with this training spot, but overall, zero perks? Two, two rooms? Mystery box? This is smaller, more, uh, basic than Bus Depot from Black Ops 2, which, maybe that was the intention of the creator. And if it is, then he did a then he or she did a great job, because the detail that's here is really well done. It does seem a little too gray, a little too dark, a little too depressing, but that could have also been the uh, been the intention with this map, which I can see that being the case. I don't really, I'm not really a huge fan of it. I would like some more color. Uh, like, there are your occasional yellows uh, from the fire, your whites from the lights. Like, there's so much stuff going on outside of the map. There's a lot of gravestones. You can see little, st you can see guns with uh, soldier helmets on top. Which I think was a way of, uh, I, I, don't, I, I don't really know. But it, it was a thing. So, the detail outside of this map is fantastic. I, I'm, like, there's a car, there's corn, like, there's so much life, there's a generator. I wish that we could go outside and see more of this stuff. Like, there's a truck over there, I, I think that's a lake? Or it's just a path? Got a, got a tower? Like, there's so much stuff going on outside of the map that I wish we could actually go to. But honestly, what are you gonna do? Like... I think the reason why this map is so small is because of the insane detail that's in it. Like, it would've... To add one more room probably would've doubled the, the making process of this map by like at least a month. I'm gonna be honest. Bro, I'm already about to die. This will not stand. But it's very possibly gonna happen because... I... Oh! Oh! What is it? Ooh, what's this? Uh, I have no idea what this is, but it seems pretty good. There's also a lot of ambience to this map, which I like. Oh, we got a nuke! Man, it's gonna f Whoa. How much ammo does this thing hold? It's gonna be weird not having perks. 125. That is insane. I might as well should just try and get a... Wonder Weapon. Like the I know the ray gun is on this. I got it for my first box spin. STG... Okay, I'll take it. I think that this is a lot of World War II guns. So, that's interesting. I don't know why Call of Duty World War II is such a popular game for these BO3 custom mappers uh, to add weapons from. Especially because of how poorly World War II as a whole did. Probably because I think that they would rather have World War II guns than actual... Uh, World at War guns, even though this guy, this guy, uh, this map does have a bunch of World at War guns, which is really cool. I do want to get the flamethrower because what's really cool is that this the map creator decided to like update the textures. And well, we got a ray gun. Like, 
I wonder if I'm just lucky or if the chances of the getting the ray gun was raised because it's probably the only wonder weapon in this map. It does have the same reload speed as your usual BO3 ray gun, but I think it has some of the... Because it seems... A, it looks a little different than your average BO3 ray gun. It's a lot less glowy than the BO3 ray gun. And it has like the classic weird like like designs on it but it, it has the it also has the reticle under the little bars there which was not a thing with the world at war ray gun i don't think um and speaking of world at war i might actually play world at war at some point in the future um because i I've, i haven't played world at war in such a long time um and it was back in like 2017 it was a terrible video it was when I had my very first microphone outside of my actual webcam microphone. Which, speaking of my webcam, you might be surprised, but this is the same webcam that I've had since I've started this channel in 2016. I'd, I've been meaning to upgrade for a very long time, but I just haven't gotten to it. And usually when I do have the money, I just forget and end up getting something else. So, that's my bad. I'm thinking about getting the Logitech... I'm thinking about getting the Logitech 4K Brio webcam because it's a 4K and it looks really well done, uh, really well made. It seems like a very underrated webcam, especially for being 4K, especially compared to the other things that that uh, Logitech has brought out, like the C920, which is just a 720p webcam. At least I think it's 720p. I keep- I think that the reg- the original Logitech C920 is a 720p, but that depends. Can I- can I also get the flamethrower? That- I'm not even gonna grab that. I almost- I got that- I, I got the Panzer Shrek last game, and I almost died immediately. It's a terrible choice to get. And the fact that the map creator thought that it was even close to a smart idea to bring a map- like, to bring a gun like the Panzer Shrek into a map this small is absolutely ludicrous. Might as well should just keep spinning. The, can you get the? Is the Wonder Waff on this map? I do not think it is. Come on, you could have at least added the Wonder Waff. That would have been a good gun for this map. Wonder Waff is in World at War. I guess it wasn't in Knocked, but this isn't Knocked. Get what I mean? God, it's only round six. This is gonna get difficult fast. You know, I I got the bar. For, I've got the bar just earlier. You probably saw, but I didn't pick it up. I just want to mention this gun sounds a lot like the bar. It feels a lot like the bar. If it was an LMG and had 20 times the bullet count, which honestly this is probably way better. You know, at least use a classic grenade. Boom! Classic World at War grenade. Judging by the animation, I don't. I think it's the exact same from World at War. It might be World War II. I really can't tell. It might even be custom animations. I wouldn't be surprised. It also seems to be immediately just crawlers. So I don't know if it was if the grenades were weaker or have gotten weaker or what. Oh my god, Thompson. I mean I gotta pick it up. It's classic. This looks like it's the World War II version, so. Oh, but it sounds like the world- it sounds like the World at War one. Okay, I'm starting to wonder if this was worth it. Okay, I'm still- I'm, I'm just gonna continue spinning the box for the flamethrower. FG42? Nah. Bro. Oh my god, how am I still alive right now? I've screwed myself over. I've- Oh my god, this map is so hard. It also seems to be quite slow, because that was 15 minutes, and it was only 7 rounds. Wow, I don't... I, I wanna... I wanna voice my opinion on the map, real quick. Um, one, I think that the rooms are too small, and there's not enough of them. Map is way too small. It's, pro it's probably gonna be way too difficult, like... I wouldn't be surprised if it was impossible to get to round 20 on this map. And maybe it's not supposed to be possible. I don't know. Like, I think it might also still be the Black Ops 3 Zombies. And in such a close quarter situation, the Black Ops 3 Zombies are an absolute 
impossibility to survive anywhere over at least round 10. I know that someone of a higher scale count probably can get to that, maybe even 20s, 30s, I don't know. Um, so I, I don't know. Overall, I do like it. It does feel a lot like Nocturne Toten if it was even more bare bones. But overall, uh, not my cup of tea when it comes to how it's overall been made. It was a nice map, and I hope you enjoyed the video.